So when it comes to the Solera 5G, there's really not much information out there for anyone to grab. As a matter of fact, nobody even knew what a Solera was. It just came out of left field. And it did turn some heads. So one of the things I wanted to do was find out as much information as I can about the Solera 5G to present that to you guys so you guys have a clear understanding of what this device is. Now to really understand the Solera 5G, you gotta understand it's Dish Wireless and Boost Mobile's brand phone. So it seems like carriers are really trying to push to have like a phone that is branded by them and sold by them. Kind of like the T-Mobile Revel. The Solero is that to Dish Wireless and Boost Mobile. And don't get me wrong, after having it for almost 24 hours, it's a pretty good phone, I must say, but I'll save that for the full review of the Solero. Right now, I just wanna give you as much information so you understand what this device is. Now, first things first, the manufacturer of the Solera 5G is a company called WingTech, which is based out of China, I believe. So that is the manufacturer of the phone. Of course, the phone is rebranded and known as the Solero on Boost Mobile currently right now. And in the future iterations of the Solero, it will be known on Dish Wireless and Boost Mobile. So yes, there will be more coming in the future. Um, spe specification wise, what I was able to find out using CPU-Z is that the Solero 5G uses a MediaTek processor, the MT6833. So that is a hardware chip that is inside the device. It also has 64 gigs of internal storage with four gigabytes of RAM. It's got a 4,000 milliamp hour battery it's running Android 11. And that is pretty much these specifications. Camera wise, it's a 16 megapixel rear triple shooter. So you got a five megapixel wide angle and then you got a two megapixel depth or telephoto. And those are the three cameras that's on it. Now network support is a little bit different. It supports LTE bands 2, 4, 5, 12, 25, 26, 41, 66, 71, 21, 13, 8, 28, B38, and 40. For 5G connection, it supports N71, N66, N25, and N41. That's pretty much what I discovered on the device. So if there's any other questions you have, ask it in the comment section of the video. Smash that like button if you guys enjoyed this quick info. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you have not. And as always, aloha.